Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. I do want to apologize for not really uploading it in the last week, but the last week has just been super busy, including the holidays where I was definitely spending time with some fam. I hope you guys had yourselves a nice holidays as well, but at least now we're back and it's going to be an interesting episode today for sure. There's a lot that happened over the weekend that we need to talk about. I did some stuff off camera that I am going to show you guys, but uh, in today's episode, there's going to be a chance that we're getting not just one, not just two, but a possible three pink diamonds on the no money spent account. Keep in mind, we have absolutely zero so far, but we've got a chance at three. So many locker codes came out over the weekend that were absolutely nuts. Now, I already punched them in, so I don't have to punch them in again. I've already got the redeemed prize right here, but I do have some locker codes that I am going to be punching in before we get into opening the crazy ones, man. If you're a no money spent player, man, right now is the best time to really go full on no money spent because it's usually around now the galaxy opals are around the corner that's where you're gonna start finding some hidden gems in diamonds and pink diamonds things are about to get super fun but uh this is the locker code right here if you guys have not punched it in make sure you go ahead and do so it is for free packs it's by Killzamoy. it's gonna be around until january 9th so whenever you can go ahead and punch it in get yourself some free packs now this pack we're about to get right here is not gonna be Killzamoy's. it's gonna start off with a free kobe bean bryant pack it's a pack that came out over the weekend and we're landing on it right away no chance at any mt but honestly that's fine with me if we manage to pull kobe or shaq there i will actually lose my mind we haven't had any good pack luck though on the no money spent yet i'm just waiting for the crazy pack that i want you guys to see and this is the one right here a free pink diamond guaranteed you guys gotta punch this code in if you didn't already i'll have to find it somewhere on the internet and put it up for you guys but this is a chance at either a free pink diamond iverson devin booker jason richardson king dirk i low-key wanted to land on king dirk because no money spent 2k19 vibes if you know you know uh walter davis and jason williams now i'm not gonna lie to you guys the card i want the most is that walter davis but if we don't end up getting the walter davis and it's someone we don't like then i'm just gonna throw the card up on the auction house and we're gonna make a lot of mt this episode already but uh let's see where this is gonna end up man we're getting a free card nonetheless we're already missing out on iverson right there as you can see but we'll get a second chance at him so i'm not too worried oh it was heading towards davis oh there we go oh it landed on pink diamond ai i'm really happy and i'm also super unhappy about that at the same time I'll explain that to you guys in just a second. But we got Pink Diamond Allen Iverson. I know a lot of people are still trying to get this card, so I can't really act like I'm too mad. But the thing is, we have another locker code that gives us another chance at Allen Iverson. So that was like a dub and an L at the same time. This one right here is another big dub. Now, in this case, as much as I want the tokens, I actually want the MT because I've already got enough tokens to do what I want to do this episode. And I'm about to show you guys in just a moment. Come on. There we go. 20,000 MT. I know the 35,000 is at the bottom, but honestly, I want to just take my winnings and I want to go. That's a big dub. Look at that. We've gotten a free ping diamond and 20,000 MT so far, and we're like two minutes into the no money spent episode. That is just crazy. Got ourselves yet another code. The one I want the most is going to be the Grant Hill pack because he is worth the most and he is the best card out of those three sets. So, we can get that grand hill i wouldn't be mad but we're getting peja stojakovic definitely the worst one of the three but honestly as long as i pull something out of the pack i'm not mad we got a second pack right here i think this one was from kills Moy's code so it's gonna drop twice this time can we get a chance at grand hill exactly in the same spot oh you hate to see it a free pack still a free pack though i'm not gonna be mad we got a third ball drop wait who, who did i punch this in for there were so many creator codes this weekend, but okay, well, let's just hope this one goes to Grant Hill. And once again, it's going to the middle. 
now even though it shows 100 mt you will still be getting your pack so that's a good thing I really wanted at least one of those. Come on. This one I think is the Allen Iverson and John ja Morant one, and it is. This is the main reason that I didn't want Allen Iverson, and so I had a chance at him now because Iverson, you can't put him on the auction house. You can't sell him for anything, and it looks like I'm about to get a second one. Whether I get Iverson or Jaw, I'm either going to have to quick sell it or just keep it in my auctions for future exchange purposes. And we're getting ourselves another diamond, Jaw Morant. One last locker code is what it looks like. I'm not sure what this one's for. It's for the free Emerald LeBron James. This one I mainly wanted to punch in for the tokens. I don't think I'm going to really do the challenges because it's for an Amethyst Daniel Gibson. And I haven't really decided if I want to grind through all the spotlights again just to get the Galaxy Opal on the no money spent. You guys let me know in the comments below, should I grind for Baron Davis on the no money spent? If we get enough love on that, I'll end up doing it. Maybe I'll stream it or something. That way I don't have to make a video on the whole thing because it can definitely get boring. It's still, Do I still have prizes to redeem? Now today we did get some new super packs and even though they're VC only, they're actually good for no money spent players. Now you might wonder why because we don't spend VC out here, well that's because everybody's going to be spending money to try to pull all these pink diamonds. Little do they know, they're going to be pulling all these diamonds and amethyst and even ruby players. So you don't want to have to worry about that, let them pull those cards for you, throw them up in the auction house and then you can snipe them for super cheap. Again, right now is the best time to be a no money spent player and even though the limited weekend is done guys. I I did end up grinding limited as well you can see I've got five rings since I didn't have time to do it on camera I was up to like 2 in the morning grinding for rings because I wanted to make sure I had that which means by this weekend we're gonna get ourselves another free ping diamond card in that Aaron Gordon and uh, this was my team right here for those of you that are wondering that's why I didn't have as much MT at the beginning of this episode I ended up buying back a bunch of Ruby players from before Matisse Tybull uh, who else did I buy there was someone else that I bought that I can't remember uh, the Chris Paul and I think that was it every other Ruby player I had from before so that was a big dub and we managed to get the ring anyways now that I've said all that we can get into the pack market where I can show you guys some of the rewards that I got including that Ruby mellow for logging in on Christmas Eve I believe because it was not on Christmas Day it was a Christmas Eve pack and I mean that's cool I guess I could have really opened this pack earlier and used them in limited I didn't even think about that until now I'm so stupid <laughs> Some other packs we got from Limited, as you can see, Diamond Shoe Pack, Diamond Consumables Pack. Again, all these things are just a means to an end. All I see from them is free MT. I don't care how good the shoes are, how good the contracts are, they're all going straight to the auction house. I'm not going to need a diamond contract on any player unless I end up getting a crazy pink diamond in which I don't want to spend contracts on. See, at that point, that's when it could pay off, but uh, we get back-to-back -back shoes right there. Walter Davis Pack. Can we get a free Walter Davis at least? I wasn't able to land on him. If they're going for cheap enough, they might be worth the pickup, but uh, the pack luck on the no money spent still stays pretty bad. That's tough. Up next, we got this Kobe Bryant booster. I'm still upset I got three Peja packs, man. We could have gotten something so much better. Hopefully, Peja's selling for a decent amount. We got a free Amethyst Pantheon player. Now, I have to think about who's in here. I'm not sure why, but I can't remember who's actually in this set. I just know whatever Amethyst we get, I'm not going to complain about. 91 overall, number 11 point guard from the Celtics, Amethyst Kyrie Irving. I am not mad about that whatsoever. Any cheap Amethyst card is a big dub. Even though I've already got John ja Morant and the De'Aaron Fox, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to get these international packs out of the way before we reveal the final Pink Diamond AI because at least AI is a guaranteed Pink Diamond we're looking forward to. These ones are gambles. On the bright side, I'm getting some contract packs out of these. I'm getting some players I can quick sell, some badges, stuff like that. Um, anything we can really put in the auction house, I'm happy about. Silver Clutch Shooter, don't know how much that's going for, but we're about to find out. And I still need to go check my auction outcomes because we sold a lot of things from the last episode. It is crazy crazy how much I don't play on the no money spent and how successful I still am in it. This is to show people that you really don't need to spend money on the game to not just have fun, but to be good at it or get a decent team. Emerald LeBron James, welcome to the gang. Now I'm not going to open my John ja Morant pack. I'm going to save it because when I open it, it's going to force me to have the option to either quick sell it or send it to my auctions and send my other card. What you want to do here, guys, and this is a mistake a lot of people make, is you want to wait for the next season of the exchange because what people don't realize is instead of quick selling that card, you can add it to the exchange. So I'm going to wait until there's players that I actually want from the exchange and then I'm going to sacrifice that diamond John ja Morant. That way, I don't have to buy a diamond player from the auction house big brain moves make sure you do that 
But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the first pink diamond on the no money spent account, and it is one of my favorite players of all time. I'm not even mad about it. This means I'm definitely going to have to sell my De'Aaron Fox just because I can't sell my John Morant and I can definitely sell Fox. But uh, welcome to the squad, Pink Diamond, Allen Iverson, man. You are definitely going to be necessary in the hunt for future Pink Diamonds, man. Welcome to the squad. Now, with all that being done, guys, you can see we had a bunch of stuff in the auctions last episode, including a bunch of badges and stuff. So let's see how much MT we've made. And you can see we made quite a bit. Bingo Smith sold for 7K. I do not remember buying the card for that much. Lori Markinen kind of sold for cheaper than I would have liked, but that's okay. Lillard and Paul George, they were whatever. But Bingo for 7K. I thought he went for like 2k MT. Uh, we got Hito for 2.3. Matisse Tybal sold for 3k. I also need to sell the one I have now because I no longer need him. Gerald Wallace is sold for 9k each. Ooh, we're gonna get close to 100k on the no money spent today, including the free 20k that we got, which we're gonna use for sniping. We got Deep 3 sold for 7.8k. Shout out to the people that were telling me I had the badge in my auction house from the last, last episode. We sold handles for days for 5.1. This is why you just put all your badges in the auction house and you just pray because we started this episode with what? 8K MT, 7K, something like that. We're now at 82,000 MT after all the locker codes and clearing my auctions. That's why you always want to fill your auctions and that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. There's nobody else to sell, but look at how close we actually are to Baron Davis. I really might go for that Baron Davis. All we need is Richard Jefferson. I can get that. Vladi Divac is going to be tough because I need to finish all the spotlights. Uh, Shumpert and Karis LeVert, those are also very easy and drew holiday not very tough just requires me to buy a bunch of cards but uh yeah if you guys want me to get this baron davis on the no money spent let me know in the comment section below so now that i've got iverson here and john morant i'm actually going to need to pick up another point guard because uh iverson and john morant neither of them have clamps and to not have clamps on any of your point guards is definitely not a good thing you want so even though we're going to sell the De'Aaron fox who had silver clamps we're definitely going to pick up a point guard that's at least got gold clamps for defensive purposes but uh this is the squad right now and guess what guys we're still not done because it's time to get ourselves another pink diamond the reason i was talking about the tokens we got 85 is because because when you hop into the token market, ladies and gentlemen, not only can you give up 12 tokens here for an Amethyst Jordan, you can give up 75 tokens for a free pink diamond Pete Maravich. This is another reason I did not want Allen Iverson is because we're getting ourselves yet another point guard. Now, I'm probably going to run Pete Maravich at the two. I'm definitely lacking defense on my team. So if I can get a clamps badge by any chance, I'm definitely going to be putting it on my Allen Iverson. But uh, yeah, a free Pete Maravich, free Diamond Ben Wallace, and a free Amethyst Derek Rose. I cannot turn that down as a no money spent player. Look at that. Look at all the glows. That is such a dub. Once again, a big shout out to 2K for the insane weekend for budget players. At the beginning of the game, it may look like you needed to spend money to win, but once it hits December and moving forward, you can be a good no money spent player. A free Amethyst Derrick Rose might not be the most overpowered player, but a free card's a free card. Same thing goes for this diamond Ben Wallace. Obviously not like your go-to center in the game. I'm likely gonna sell him, but this card before was going for like 200K. So 2K in a sense, fix the auction house. I'm still probably gonna sell him because he might be a diamond but he's not any better than ruby thon maker so again you don't want to be deceived by the gem colors and the same thing goes for this pink diamond pete maravich depending on how much this card is going for he might be getting sold too i'm not gonna lie to you but uh for now i think he's gonna be coming off the bench and i'll put john morant in the reserves because pete maravich has that curry slide which was the main reason i kept that ruby steph curry Pete Maravich is still a demon. All right, so now that we're finally done getting a bunch of free stuff, we can actually start looking at some of these budget players and see who's going to be worth picking up. Now, in these ones, just completely ignore Kobe and Shaq. You're not going to be able to afford them. Some of you budget players with more than 50k MT, like me right now, Scottie Pippen and Chris Bosh, some of the best cards to pick up right now for the price they're going for. Without question, you should go get them. Uh, Ruby Lamar Odom, I heard is another good budget beast. Uh, Trey Young, haven't heard too much about him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's good purely for the offense offense and the same thing goes for the D'Angelo Russell apparently his jumper is absolutely butter looking at the Zach Levine packs this is where I'm looking at a couple of players number one Amethyst Pascal Siakam 
he's definitely going to have a spot on my team. And if you're someone playing with Ruby cards, ignore the LaMelo ball. He's going for way more than he should. Last I checked, he was going for like 10k MT. For a Ruby card, that's an absolute L. Do not fall for the hype. And then Taco Fall, that's also whatever. Same thing with the Stefan Marbury. Don't really care for the Clyde Drexler or Jamal Murray. And then for the Retro Packs, we don't really care about that. So I'm going to look to pick up some of these nice cheap players starting with that Pascal Siakam. I like how good that card can defend. I like how good he can shoot for playing the four or the three. That card's going to be a beast. Let's just hope he's going for cheap enough, but it's a good thing. We've now got MT, ladies and gentlemen, but hey, it still does not hurt to snipe. Remember, if you want to make a lot of money, you've got to live every day like you were the poorest you'd ever been, aka the beginning of the first episode. You want as tight of a budget as you always can. Just because you have money doesn't mean you should spend all of it. And in this case, Siakam's going for a good price. I'm honestly not surprised because he's such a good card i wasn't expecting these prices though so we got one that popped up for 13,000. even though that's not an insane snipe i'm gonna take it i know that's still quite a bit of mt but siakam in my opinion he's gonna be worth it i'm not too mad about it for what this card's gonna be able to do he should be okay to match up against amethyst and diamonds for quite a while now uh lafonso ellis we had ourselves a good run but now i got myself a full amethyst with a pink diamond starting lineup my team's looking pretty good now i'm not really looking to build up my team like crazy this episode so i'm gonna snipe towards the end of the episode as well but right now we've got to hunt for that pink diamond richard jefferson for those of you that don't know he is one of the cars we're gonna need for baron davis and i have a chance to go for richard jefferson and larry nance at the same time i cannot ignore going for two free pink diamonds i like that okay so i just realized we have yet another chance at a pink diamond because i want to go see what that notification was all about and that's because we got another chance at connie hawkins right here we're moving up straight to the next board that's a good sign i didn't manage to get this card on my main account if i can get it on the no money spent at least that would be a minor dub move me to the next board 300 mt that's still not too bad we've only got three picks left it's not gonna be anything crazy a basketball pack another l two more picks man i want to move up to the next board come on and last but not least i'll go right here 300 mt again uh one token all right so we've got 12 tokens at least we got enough for mj why does it still say i have one left afterwards it keeps saying one every single time am i done now i still have one left is the board glitched i've got the double value of my next pick and i've got another pick what's going on here a free shoe pack okay so that's nothing crazy are we done now okay that was weird how many times it showed that i still had a pick to go but uh what we're gonna be doing ladies and gentlemen is jumping into triple threat online now this is the team we're gonna be rocking for triple threat online i like jonathan isaac because he can guard centers still shoot and he's six foot eleven it's big time gerald wallace is clamps and he'll hit the open shots and i want to see that what this alan iverson can do in tto i might have to move him if he's too short because some people like to run like three small forwards and i'll just get posted up all game but uh if next gen is too sweaty we're gonna hop into current gen give me that oh good defense there gerald wallace that's why i got you on the team we got some rebounds ai go get open catch shoot that's not a green but it's a bucket i'll take it let's keep pushing the pace here man once again ai wide open this time it's a green three to the dome his jumper is so fire though i'll say that it's the defense that worries me though i know wayne's not shooting it like that he just wants to rim run we're all there though we got to get that loose ball jumping again that's all contested come on this is how you start a game off stopping popping green bean and just like that our opponent has left the match we were up 17 to 3 he wasn't as tough as i thought he would be but i'll take that dub that's a good start to tto let's hope things go well i don't mind that there was a token there unfortunately we didn't land on it but uh we've got enough tokens now i believe to get that amethyst michael jordan anyway so i'm not too mad we'll pick him more up towards the end we got to keep grinding through these games let's go okay so this guy's got a free agent lebron jonathan isaac and a zion at point guard this is where he can just post up Allen iverson if he's super smart but look at gerald wallace that's why i got you on the team because you play defense let's keep moving the ball around he's sending double teams but gerald wallace is a green machine right now i don't even think can free agent lebron shoot threes i'm about to find out doesn't look like he really can uh let's keep it going yeah you're trying to bait the wrong person all the way through oh okay g wallace look at that it's everybody offense on Allen iverson see that's what sucks man that's where i might have to get rid of ai because he's getting posted up literally every possession now all right let's put the nail in the coffin here man ggs yep keep reaching that's fine iverson say good night good night my guy that's two and oh 
what kind of reward are we getting all right so we got a contract pack for this one again i'm honestly not mad about these rewards because i can actually use all of these on the no money spent that's more contracts for alan iverson especially when you're playing triple threat online you fly through so many contracts like watch he's already out of contracts uh let's give him a gold one let's run it back the team right now is playing good we haven't ran into any paul george's or kevin durant's yet so fingers crossed good defense good defense gang that's why it's good to have two super defensive players and then one guy who's here for the offense alan iverson come on man give me that thank you good bait right there iverson oh you got to go to the three-point line gerald wallace is open for the catch and shoot knocking it down nice rebound all right come on let's not give up this lead right here iverson wide open cross court pass dimer me mama green bait that oh good defense we're out here trying hard for wins. Come on. You know the vibes. Iverson, dimer me mama. Bang. That right there is the nail in the coffin. Green. Game number three has been won. Things are looking good so far. Let's see the ball drop. Okay. I can't complain about a league pack. That's actually a dub. Oh my goodness. It keeps going straight to the MT, man. That's so tough. It's always contracts running out, man. One thing you definitely want to do is if you play triple threat online heavily, just slap a diamond contract on one of your best players and use them the whole time. It'll end up paying itself off with the amount of games and MT you'll gain. It's honestly not a bad idea. I just don't know if I'm going to keep Iverson long term yet. Our next opponent here has Wayne Embry, DeRozan, Brandon Ingram. We're going to see how this goes. Look at Jonathan Isaac, man. Look at that. Dot. Give me those. Bang. Good defense, bro. Gerald Wallace is the main reason I'm winning half these games. He's hitting all his open shots, and then he's just good at defending. You love to see it, man. Let's say goodnight to our friend. He's running away from Iverson. That's the dagger. Okay, I want to green it, but a bucket's a bucket. We win 22 to 4. Back to the ball drops. We got another league pack right here. It's probably going to go straight to the MT again. But on the bright side, this is the last board. Every single board moving forward has a chance of pink diamond Richard Jefferson in it. Second one is going to land on MT again. So you can see right here, that's four wins. Every single ball drop moving forward has a chance at Richard Jefferson. Now the tier two ball drops are honestly terrible. So if he's going to show up, I hope he shows up in the tier three ball drops. But uh, let's get to work here, boys. This guy's got De'Aaron Fox and two big men so he's probably gonna run a lot of pick and rolls but as long as we get around those screens and watch for those pops we should be all right clear out let me handle this darren fox on my own okay that's a little blow by oh do not leave gerald wallace wide open he's the best catch and shooter in the game okay i don't mean that actually he's just been cooking tonight but yeah good defense gerald wallace i don't know how again 15 percent covered the logic doesn't make sense but that jumper definitely does i'll take it all right, let's say goodnight to our fellow here. Doesn't know where I'm going. Man, the game feels so slidey today. I'm not sure why. We're knocking that down, though. That's another game down. First board at a chance at Richard Jefferson. Show me the money. Show me the money. Five tokens. Honestly, that's not the worst. Now, the reason I want Richard Jefferson to pop up in tier three instead of tier two is look at the bottom corner. How is it even possible to get the five tokens? Like the tier two ball drop is the one I absolutely hate the most because it is literally impossible to get there. Look at that. You have to go through that obstacle and somehow maneuver to the bottom right. It's not possible. Right here, we're going to get one token. I'm happy with that. I meant to say 300 MT, but uh, that still works. What's this next ball drop gonna be? Got ourselves a free token. Keep adding them tokens on. You never know when they're gonna release more packs and I wanna make sure I'm ready to buy any of those token packs because again, we got ourselves a free pink diamond Pete Maravich. I can't be mad about that. 200 MT, I'll take it on to the next game. Our first Ping Diamond Paul George user. We're going to see how this goes, man. Let's just lock up and let's hope things go well. We can give up twos, but do not give up threes. Get there. Good defense. Come on. He's just attacking me with Paul George right now. Come on. Let's try to get a bucket. Iverson, dimer me mama green. Get there. Oh, it's not a good enough contest. He's still missing though. Iverson, run with it. All the way through. Oh, no. I see Isaac. I'm taking the three. I like my threes. Green. Give me that. Thank you very much. Jonathan Isaac. Hey! Good defense, Isaac. Oh my goodness. Iverson, where you at? Alright, let me get a nice little ISO here. I should be able to cook this man. I'll cook this man's soul because I know Iverson can't play defense. I know it because I have him. Green! Give me that. Thank you. Gerald Wallace says good night. That's game right there. 22 to 10 dub. That was actually a big dub. My team really stepped up there. I'll take it. 
Richard Jefferson. Ooh, a possessed pack. Now this isn't bad because if I land on it, I'll be happy. If I miss on it, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it, but uh, let's see what happens. Again, that bottom right is damn near impossible to hit. Oh, look at that, we just missed it. Oh, I'm done, I'm done. Imagine if that was for Richard Jefferson. I think I would have broken my monitor. Yay, 200 MT again, we don't care, but look at that. We're two ball drops away from the big ones, the tier three prizes, the ones we really care about. All we gotta do is win this one and everything moving forward is gonna be a dub. Even if we get an L, we'll get the chance. I'm just gonna pay for the contracts because honestly, I'm gonna save those contracts for Allen Iverson, but we made quite a bit of MT playing TTO so far. We started at like 79K and we're at 82,000 MT. He's got Ruby Trey Young, but he's got Diamond Chris Bosch, who's a dog. I'm gonna walk by this Trey Young all day, though. Let's get to work. As long as we don't give up any threes, we're gonna be all right. Always give up threes over twos, or sorry, always give up twos over threes because it's so much easier to make up for a two than it is for a three. Up five, two. We're gonna force him to only run to the basket. I gotta be honest, though. This Allen Iverson has been nothing but a dog for me. Like, look at that. He's already got 15 points all the way through. Make that 17, and it's game points. Good night. That's the game right there from AI. 21 to 9. We we really haven't had any close games, which is really relieving because I feel like I don't have to sweat as much as I usually do. But we get that TTOMT. Three tokens for the final tier two ball drop. And I'm perfectly okay with that because again, I hate the tier two ball drop. After this, we're moving on to tier three, which should be some dubs. Oh wow, we actually managed to land it in the bottom left corner. And that was completely by accident, but honestly, I'll take it. So we got MT, got some tokens. Every win moving forward is the biggest now because not only is there a chance at Richard Jefferson, there's also a chance at a Larry Nance Jr. Now, obviously, I want the Richard Jefferson because he does go towards Baron Davis, so I will use him more, but that Larry Nance is also a beast. If I get either or, I will not complain. This guy's got a good team, and he's looking like he's gonna be a sweat, so that'll be interesting for sure. Let me see what we can do here. Get around that screen, though, to the basket. I was hoping for a dunk. I'll take the bucket, though. Let's not give up threes. Everybody on their team can shoot. Let's see how this goes. Good defense, AI! Get the ball! No! Get the ball! Oh, that is so unfortunate! Don't do it, don't do it! Good bump steal, come on! Let's go. Oh, we gotta keep running, gotta keep running. Isaac, wide open again. Is this your night? Not a green, but it's a bucket, okay! Go off when it matters. One more three-pointer and this game's over. Oh, you're reaching too much. Don't leave AI open. Green! Let's go. You can pause on me all you want, but you still lost the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the big oh. moments. I'm seeing a Kevin Garnett pack. Okay, so we still got two more chances. It's not the worst, and we can actually land on that pack. I don't know what the ball drop method is because there really isn't one, but if it goes to the KG pack, which it's looking like it won't. Oh, it might. Oh, that's so tough. 250 MT, man. So I didn't even bother to show the ball drops there because they honestly weren't that good. But uh, we got two more games here to get Richard Jefferson or at least a Larry Nance. Come on, man, we worked for this. And of course this guy's got Zach Levine, Paul George, and Steph Curry. Come on, Isaac, coast to coast. Oh, wide open. That's the greatest catch and shooter in the game. Come on. If I can just hit one good three here, we'll be all right. That's wide open, green bean. All right, now we can only give up twos. He got that one three with Steph Curry. He's not getting another one. Get there. Oh my goodness. Iverson is not playing defense right now. Why are you selling my bread, Iverson? That's good defense by Gerald Wallace. 59% contested. Uh, Guys, I don't know if we're meant to win this game. I'm actually kind of upset. I'm not going to lie. He's going to close this game up with a three. Please miss that. We got to get that rebound. No. Oh, that was the. Oh my gosh. That's so tough. That's a bucket. What? What? I quit. I quit. He's gonna hit that. He's gonna hit a three or something. He's gonna hit something. Oh my goodness, I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done, bro. I'm so done. On the bright side, it's only for a diamond consumable. We got one more chance at RJ here. Are we gonna get it? I hope so. Oh, don't go to the blue. Thank you. Give me the diamond consumable, please. Things are looking bad. Uh, oh, 300 MT. Oh, I hate the ball drops in triple threat online this year. They're so garbage. We got one more game for Richard Jefferson or Larry Nance. Let's go, man. This guy's got the rim running god, John ja Morant, uh, Ben Simmons, and Pete Maravich. So as long as I don't give up threes, we should win this game. But this guy's a sweat, as you can see. He's making sure that Iverson doesn't get the ball. That's cool, though. We'll figure it out. I'm blowing right by you. Come on. Spin maneuver. Gerald Wallace. Go ahead. Rim run. Let me see how that goes. Good defense there, Isaac. 
Let's get the ball. Come on. I want this game done ASAP. Iverson from three. That's a green. Let's go. I'm pissed I lost that last game. Get there. Don't give up threes. Beautiful rebound. Run like the athlete that you are. Oh, I thought that was Gerald Wallace beside me because he's got white jerseys too. And just like that, it's a three-point game. So we got to be a little bit careful here. Get around the screen. Thank you. All the way through. Allen Iverson. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let's please not blow this. Nice little crossover to the basket. AI, close it out. Thank you very much. I thought Ben Simmons was going to block that. That's the game. Time for the final ball drop. All right, guys. Are we going to succeed this episode? It's looking like... Oh, Larry Nance. Okay, it's not Richard Jefferson. It's still a free pink diamond. The thing is, we got to actually get it. First ball drop. That's not a good drop. That's not a good drop, is it? Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh, that's such a GG. 95% of my ball drops always end up there. It's like the worst spot. That's not a good one either. Oh, uh, don't end up back there. Thank you. <gasps> is this the one? This might be the one, guys. Don't go to blue. Now go to yellow. No. Slide over. Keep No, wrong way. There you go. Oh, my gosh. It's still going. Come on. Oh, it's selling my bread. It's selling my bread so bad. I've never seen myself get finessed this bad. This is an actual adventure. Please just go to yellow. I'm so tight, bro. It goes all the way to the left. Oh, that's so bad. Come on, man. Let's not sell. Oh, that's not a good one. Is it? Oh, it's got to stop going there. There we go. No. Come on. Let's go. No, not that blue either. This is the one. I feel it. No. Let's go. Let's go. Free pink diamond Larry Nance. That's the third pink diamond added on to the no money spent account in one episode. This last ball drop doesn't matter. This one's a victory lap. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, that feels good. Okay, so it all wasn't for nothing. I'm so glad because it really felt like it was going to be for nothing. Obviously, we're still going to have to grind for that Richard Jefferson. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our third pink diamond in one episode. We went from having amethyst and rubies to now adding on the third pink diamond on the no money spent. I'm honestly super hyped. 95 overall. Number 22, the free version of a Giannis Antetokounmpo pink diamond larry nance man welcome home oh that's a good feeling that is a great feeling and honestly guys i don't think i'm gonna snipe any cards for the rest of the episode i'm gonna put larry nance right there and gerald green i'll put you where siakam is now i've got a super tall bench with siakam and jonathan isaac that's gonna be all about the defense honestly i'll put siakam right here Look at that. Spreading the floor. Insane defense with Gerald Wallace. That'll help Iverson when we got so much height on this lineup. Uh, by next episode, I'm looking to replace Sean Kemp. He's a cool budget card and all, but we need the big boys. We need some demons. I need like a diamond, pink diamond center that's just going to snag rebounds. But uh, for now, to end off the episode, I'm going to put everything up on the auction house. Hopefully, they all sell for some decent values. I don't really want to put them up for a buy now in case somebody undercuts me, but it's always nice seeing the surprise for what all of this sells by the beginning of next episode. This Zion should sell for quite a bit of MT. Hopefully this clutch shooter goes for a bit of MT and the same thing with these diamond shoes. I low-key should have put that driving dunk shoe on Allen Iverson, but that's okay. That's okay. We ended off the episode on a dub and we also got 24 tokens, so I might as well. Actually, I'm not going to spend them on Jordan. I don't really need Jordan for anything. If there's a requirement later on where I need a Bulls player, then I'll do it. But uh, right now, I don't. I think that's going to do it for a whole episode. We got three pink diamonds, a new amethyst, a bunch of MT, and we didn't have to snipe anything. That's just punching in locker codes and playing triple threat online. So all around, big dubs. Next episode, a lot of sniping. The final limited ring for Aaron Gordon. More pink diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. This is where no money spent starts to go crazy but uh with all that being said guys this is gonna be the end of the video if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazion nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care i can't stop i'm on the way to the top got another flight to hop i can't stop got a new whip in a lot got a new crib i'm a cop i won't stop got a whole family and friends everybody needs their ends i won't stop i will not play pretend i'm gonna keep going to the end i can't stop i'm on the way to the top